Evil Eyes, 2009 by Jack T. Chick. Why have you come to me? Because a Santeria priest told me of your amazing powers and I want revenge. It will cost you. I understand. I've come into a lot of money. I can't afford it. This is Carlos. Do you want him dead? No, he's a relative. I want him turned into a vegetable to ruin his life. I'm very good at ruining lives. Make him wish he was never born. I will. Three hundred miles away. Roberto, I need a favor. What is it, Mama? I couldn't mail my sister her birthday present. Could you take it to her? Yes, I'll get to visit Carlos and Aunt Maria again. I'll be back in a few days. God bless you, Mama. Bye. Roberto's such a good boy. It's a shame he went crazy on religion. As the sun goes down, you are not coming with us to dance with the spirits? No, Carlos, I feel sick. Pray to St. Lazarus for me. I'll pray to all the saints for you, Mama. At the same time, the spell is on its way to destroy Carlos. He has no defense for what's coming. During the religious festival, ancient African spirits are called down to ride upon their human children giving them a high more powerful than any drug. Carlos is dancing with them. The timing could not be more perfect. Meanwhile, as the spirits dance with Carlos, the spell reaches its target. A dark force with incredible, incredible power slams into his body. With a blood curdling scream, Carlos falls down like a dead man. The next morning, Father Dominic, Maria sent me. She's terrified. She begs you to come see Carlos. Hmm. I've heard what happened. I'll see her. I'll see her this afternoon. I'm here, Maria. Where is he? He's in there, Father. He looks terrible. I'm so afraid. He can't see, hear, or speak. He won't eat. I'm frantic. Father, you are also our Santerio. Santero. Help me. He looks like a zombie. He is a zombie. There's no hope for him. Nothing can help him. Wrong. My Jesus can. Aunt Maria, get this priest out of here. What's happening? Maria's crazy nephew threw out Father Dominic. The father is furious. Look, he's throwing out the crucifixes. And here comes Maria. Why did he throw out the crucifixes? He said they don't have a dead Jesus on them. He said they have a dead Jesus on them. And his Jesus is alive. Now he's throwing out all my saints. He says behind each idol is a devil. Everyone listen, that man is da a dangerous heretic and against us. He's insulted Mother Church. There's no telling what he will do to poor Carlos. Father Dominic is right. Let's go get him. Wait, stop. Let's watch and see what he can do to help Carlos. Yeah, when he fails, we'll beat him to death. Lord Jesus, there are enemies all around me. They want me dead. You promised if I call on you in the day of trouble, you'll deliver me. And I'm holding on to that promise, Lord. Ugh, this place is infested with devils. Lord Jesus, please get them out of here. Lord, please break that spell on Carlos. You said if we ask anything according to your will, 
you'll hear us. So if it's your will, please do it. In Jesus' mighty name, shatter that spell on Carlos. No. Open his eyes and bring him back to us. Thank you, Lord. Hey, where am I? Who are you? Is that you, Roberto? Yes, it's me, Carlos. Praise God. Roberto, I thought I died. Something horrible happened inside me. What was it? A very powerful devil, Carlos, in the shape of a zombie. It was sent by a spell and it made your body its new home. But the Lord forced it out. Now it wants to come back with seven others more wicked than itself. How do you know? Jesus said it in the Bible. What can I do? I'm scared. I don't want that to happen. This is a dangerous time for, for you, Carlos. Those devils plan to return to that empty place they left inside you. You must fill that empty space before they return. How? I can't stop them. Can Father Dominic? No, he's powerless. Then I'm lost. I know who can fill it. Who? Tell me. God can. Are you crazy? That's impossible. Listen to me. You are already in trouble with the Lord. This might be the only time in your life you will hear this. The whole world is headed for hell. God said there is none righteous, no, not one. And there is no fear of God before their eyes. I'm going to hell? You sure are. But God sent us one way out. He sent his holy, sinless son from heaven to earth to be born as a man and sacrificed for our sins. That son is Jesus Christ. It was his power that delivered you from that zombie spirit. He's had enough time. Let's go drag him out. Yes, now kill him. Wait, he's facing a zombie in there. Can we give him a little more time? Jesus declared that he was the only way to heaven. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The religious crowd hated him and had him crucified. Jesus shed his holy blood to save your soul, Carlos. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 he died. Three days later, he rose from the dead, sending shockwaves into Satan's kingdom. Carlos, if you believe the Lord Jesus died for you and receive him as your savior, he'll come and fill that empty place in your heart, save you and be with you forever. But will I have to give up Santeria and the Catholic Church? Yes. That's a pretty high price. Do you want the devil back? Do you want the devil's back and to go to hell? I'll give you my answer outside. Carlos, you are back. What happened? Gasp. I wasn't sick. Roberto put a spell on me. He tried to turn me against Santeria and Mother Church. That dirty devil. Leave us. Get on the next bus or die. Don't ever come back. Lord, why did you send me here? We should have him killed. I believe there was someone I could reach. May I sit beside you? Please do, Mr. Dominic. I saw the zombie with my own eyes. Your God delivered Carlos. I've been both a Santeria priest and a Catholic priest, and now it's over. I'm sick of evil spirits, phony saints, and all my lies over the years. I was into witchcraft like other priests. I've committed horrible sins. 
abused and robbed my people. Can your Jesus forgive that? Yes, he can. In my church, we have hurt people. We destroyed millions of souls. That's why Jesus hates her and calls her the great whore. Your Jesus is alive. Will you lead me to him so I can be saved? Roberto did. The sins of the ex-priest were forgiven. And when he died, he went to heaven. When your life ends, will you die in your sins? Read the next page very carefully. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says there is only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today.